Um, but today we're talking all about managing time zones. Um, yeah, which for you might not be a huge issue or it might be an enormous issue. Um, for example, we had to learn this the hard way running a program where based where we are, um, in the U S Western hemisphere with clients in every corner of the Eastern hemisphere and trying to make sure that we were scheduling everything in advance appropriately, mm-hmm. uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, so you get to hear all about how the platform handles time zones and what that means for you today. Um, and I think with that, I'm going to get out of the way. Sarah, do you want to take it away? Yeah, sounds good. Right. Uh, well, like Phil said, this is something that we learned sort of on the fly. And our intention with all of you is that you not have to learn it that way. Instead, you've got this resource so that you can plan it out um, more methodically and have it run very smoothly. So, um, you know, in most cases, we see our coaches scheduling cards, sequences, messages ahead of time. It's a great way to save your time to scale your coaching practice and do all sorts of cool, fancy things. Um, so this is, you know, opposed to sending like a card on the fly. Okay. My client needs this card on time management. I'm going to send this card to that client. That's one way of going, of doing things. But when we're scheduling things ahead of time, we want to be really mindful of how we're doing this um, so that it actually arrives as intended to all of our clients. And this is especially relevant, like Phil said, when we're, when we're coaching, you know, our, our coaching headquarters, so to speak, is in the Western hemisphere, but our clients are in the Eastern hemisphere. That's when this becomes really, again, very, very important. So I thought what would make sense is if we run through some questions that we typically get, um, Mm -hmm. some common questions, and then give you the answer. And of course, if if any of you joining us has a question that we're not covering, please, please, please go ahead and ask us and we'll do our best to answer you. Okay. Also, just because there's a couple names on here that I'm not used to seeing on the webinars. Um, If you haven't joined us before for office hours or minutes, um, feel free to find the chat button and or the Q&A button and, and, and fire off any questions as, as we go along. We, we love to hear from you guys. Yeah. And thanks for joining us at our new time. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. New day. Old time, new day. Yeah. <laughs> we made it. Uh, okay. First question. When do cards hit a client's feed? You get asked this a lot. Now I'm going to preface all of this with a little bit of like a higher level concept, not higher level concept, but um, some background on how the platform works. I feel like Phil's probably getting nervous at this point. I'm about to make a (laughs) sweeping generalization about the platform. My favorite. (laughs) (laughs) So we base things um, off of a client's time zone, not a coach's. We don't really know where you are. Okay. So remember that as you consider things, Phil. You look like you want to add something to that. That's okay. That's all you need now. Okay. We do know where you are. Um, You know, I don't want to misclassify that. We we know where you are, but. (laughs) Well, we know where you live. (laughs) Let's edit that out. Not that much detail, but yes. (laughs) But that, that really helped me if I, you know, as a coach, when I'm looking at this, having that mindset of, wait, it's not where I'm, it's where they are. That helps me as I'm going through my assignment process. Okay. So back to the question, when do cards hit a client's feed? They hit at midnight in the client's time zone. Okay. Midnight just after time. midnight. Yes. Yeah. Just after midnight. Now, of course, you know, things get busy sometimes and, and, you know, I want to, you know, invite you all to, you know, be open to a few minutes in on other side on this case on the, you know, on the tail end of it, but, um, just after midnight clients time zone. Okay. So to be clear, if this, if you schedule something to start tomorrow for your client, just after midnight, um, that will start going out. Um, and the way that happens is we have a huge system, right? A bajillions of these cards going out and they're queued. So don't, I wouldn't be sitting there at like, 12 on the dot and like counting down the moments and, and opening it up. 
um, somewhere within those first few minutes that we'll go out. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So how does this impact push notifications? Um, so if a card is set to be delivered on January 1st, for example, with a push notification reminder set for 9.30 a.m., the card is going to show up in the client's feed just after midnight on the 1st, and the push notification will be delivered at 9.30 a.m. on the 1st, both with respect to the client's time zone. So I know I get asked this a lot. Okay, well, if I schedule the push notification for 9.30, does that mean the card will not appear until 9.30? And that's not true. The card will appeal, appear just after midnight. The push notification is what's going to go through at 930. So there is the potential that your clients will see the card before the push notification goes out. You know, if that impacts how you want that card to be received and, and um, engaged with and keep that in mind. Um, I think it doesn't really matter for most cases. Um, and in fact, it can be a huge asset if this is something you want to remind your client to do. So your client will see the card in the morning. Maybe they complete the, the tracker, or, you know, complete the task or whatever um, when they first see it, but then maybe consider sending a push notifications later in the day just to remind them, hey, if you haven't opened the app yet, open it up. And even if you have, make sure you've completed the task. One thing too, that's nice about attaching a push notification to a card is that um, you, when you tap on the push notification as a client, it will open that card up. So whatever um, card you've attached that notification to, that card will kind of expand within the app when you tap on the push notification. So it's kind of nice. So it'll kind of direct you straight there. Yeah, that's great. Um, you know, how this impacted us with the How to Nudge course is we wanted to send out cards um, with a push notification attached. But if we sent, you know, if we wanted that push notification to go out, um, things get so tricky, but uh, say, you know, we wanted it to go out today. Well, at this point, we might still be okay, but it's not always still today everywhere else in the world. Right. Okay? So if I wanted that push notification, notification to go out January 4th at 1 p.m. Well, it's not, it, it is no longer January 4th at 1 p.m. everywhere in the world. And so where it is no longer January 4th at 1 p.m., those folks are not going to receive that push notification. And right. that's, that stinks for me as the coach. So that's why we're doing this. That's what we want to let you guys know. Okay, so if you have a client right now in Melbourne, Australia, don't send them a push notification for today because it's already tomorrow. It's already tomorrow. Or a card for today, for that matter. <laughs> we'll get there and though. This is why sequences assign the way they do. So if you've ever wondered why, hey, I want to assign a sequence for today, but it's not letting me assign it until tomorrow, that's we're doing you a solid. Basically, we want to make sure that everyone gets that sequence. And in that case, we want to have you assign it for tomorrow. Okay. Um, Catherine, do you want to go through this last question? I thought this was a great. Uh, um, sure. Yeah. Great addition. Pull it up there. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is just something kind of from the support side that comes up fairly often. Um, if you um, were to like assign, it could be on accident or something, or maybe you just weren't aware of their um, location or. Um, maybe a client's on vacation and so their, their location had changed temporarily or something like that. Um, but if you assign a card, um, let's say I assign a card today for a client um, that, you know, it's already tomorrow for them. So the Melbourne example, um, if I were to do that, they're not going to receive that card at all. Um, so, you know, if, if, if I were to assign a card today, it's already tomorrow for that client, they're not going to have like a backdated card in their feed for the fourth, for example. Um, so that's one thing too, to keep in mind I've, I've that this has come up before where, you know, a coach is like, oh, I, I don't, I don't see the, the card in my client's feed. And, and that's because the client never received it because they never, they had already passed that day by the time the coach had assigned the card. Um, so that is one thing to keep in mind now, if you do schedule like a repeating card, so let's say you scheduled a, a card to repeat daily um, and you, you know, you accidentally set the start date for today and it was already for tomorrow for the client. In that case, they still would receive the card the next day. So they would receive the card on the fifth, 
Um, they just wouldn't also have a backdated card for the fourth. Um, does that make sense? It does. Yeah, tricky. Guys, uh, you know, it's all tricky. <laughs> it, yeah. And if you, like me, um, get very uncomfortable about time zones and your brain doesn't do that kind of math. Time zones are about. very confusing. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I download it and this is, you know, a, a um, totally non-ad kind of a, a God, I can't think today. A suggestion. Um, there's an app called Time Buddy that I found to be really helpful. And you get to put in your time zone and then for the free version, like up to two or three different time zones. So if you have, you know, a client in Melbourne, a client in mm -hmm. Hong Kong, you can put, and for all I know, those That's are the same right. time zone. That's how much I know about this. But um, you can put those time zones in and then just you know, see exactly what's going on and what day everybody's existing in and all that. So anyway, also just, just thinking about it, actually, if there's any newer coaches that, um, want to check to see what their clients time zones are set to, um, you can do that by looking at their profile. So if you've opened, if you're in your coach account and you, you click on a client's profile, there's a little set in settings, excuse me, button, um, in the bottom left-hand corner of their profile, you can click on that button and see what their, their time zone is set to. And that, that time zone is just set automatically based on their phone, their phone updates and should update it, um, uh, accurately, but occasionally, like if, if something isn't working where their phone is having an issue and it's not updating it properly, you can uncheck the box to automatically set your client's time zone and change it for them. Um, but so if you're ever wondering, you know, where is my client located? If, if for some reason you don't know, or you want to just confirm it, it is in their profile in the settings button. That's so good to know. Didn't know that. Um, so one other kind of best practices thing is please, please, please avoid making any edits to your sequences within 24 hours of assignment, you know, or, or the card delivery. So if you are making a sequence sort of on like as you go, building it as you go, which is very common, I have done that plenty of times, just make sure you're at least 24 hours ahead of when the next card has to go out, at mm -hmm. least, at least, <laughs> at least. Um, and that just some funny things can happen if you're within 24 hours. Um, so we want to make sure that, to avoid that. Um, wait, it looks like we have a question. Yeah, we just got a question um, about the update. So we did make a little bit of an update last week, I believe, um, with regards to assigning cards. So you may have seen that, um, uh, but I'll just ask this real quick so that we can kind of cover it together. Um, with the updates, can we still send a notification for a card for the first day only, but have the card delivered daily for a month without the daily notification? Um, that's a great question. We actually removed that option. Um, I believe the reason we removed it, and maybe Phil, you could expand upon this, but I believe um, every coach pretty much was selecting or, or the majority of coaches or something um, were selecting the option to have the, the notification repeat every day. Um, so I think, uh, I believe that's why we, we decided to remove that option and just have you know, if you're, if you have a notification set, um, you know, it would, would go out every time the card is received. Is that right? Um, yeah, that's the, that, that did get removed. Um, I wasn't involved in the conversation about why it got removed, but, but oh, yes, okay. I, I know it's not in there anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so at least, at least for now. Yes. Your, your options are either send a notification every time or don't send one at all. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And then we have another question. Um, so if I want to send a card to someone in Australia, I would have to plan to send it at a date ahead of mine. And this is someone in, the, in Texas in the US. And that is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you're in doubt, quick Google search, current time in inner city in Australia, Melbourne, Sydney, et cetera. Um, you can see what time it is currently. If it's tomorrow already, then, you know, it, you don't want to send anything for today, obviously. Right. Um, so it's worth a check, worth keeping in mind, um, kind of where you have your clients and where they are. Uh, Catherine gave you um, a great uh, suggestion on, on how to find out what time zone is listed in our system. Um, if you just go to the client profile and, and go into settings there. Um, so yeah, a little planning ahead definitely will will save you a lot of uh, frustration down the line when it comes to uh, time zones. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, another kind of best practices thing is really check in with your clients about whether or not they have their push notifications turned on. That's not something you can do or we can do. That's something that they have to do on their phone. Um, and the benefit to having that conversation with them is in that case of, all right, I have to send it out tomorrow. Anytime where there might be a bit of a gap between talking to them about, hey, I'm going to send you this card and then that card getting to them or you, you assigning that card, um, having a push notification saying, hey, the card's arrived so they know when to come back to the app and see what you've added, that really helps make that process feel more intentional and more streamlined. Um, but they're not going to get that push notification unless they have that setting turned on. So just a reminder to, uh, to encourage them to do that. Um, All right. Well, thanks so much, guys. Any other questions that we got, we will handle offline um, and follow up with you guys individually. Um, And looking forward to seeing you guys again next week, next Tuesday. Thanks for uh, keeping up with the time change on our end. (laughs) Appreciate it. Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks, guys.